race number three. Drop back to the minimum trip here, 1,000 metres for the third. We're back into class four company once more, and we have 12 of them going to post. The field is headed by happy good guys, Ricky Yu and Jerry Chow, still looking for that winner to take him down to three pounds to get out of the apprentice ranks. Comes from barrier number 11. Euro Missile, midfield behind Momentum Galaxy, first up. Happy Tango with speed from six. We've got Ale for Casper Fowles, Luke Ferraris, first up since April. Febo, a last start winner. That was back in July, his last start of the season. Noir Ryder, Zach Purton jumps on board for the first time from barrier number four. Packing champion uh, gets the inside gate here with Jack Wong. Team Good Luck, first up for the season. And Goodmanship, eligible for class five, but there's no thousand meter class fives on Wednesday night, so he takes the line Wait here, Mark. And it is a good speed, Andrew, as is normal over the 1,000 metres and a few of these, uh, possibly trap wide. Poor old Tronic Mighty will be dodging the trams at a Wong Nai Chung Gap Road. <laughs> Happy Tango, Goodmanship with speed. Packing champion. Now, his starts have been a little slow, but when he did jump with them, he has shown ability. Noir Ryder gets out quickly. Fairbow goes forward, but he's also raced well back in the field. Tronic Mighty, LA, my, my, my. Happy good guys, Euro Missile, Theta Hedge and a team good luck. LA's also showing speed in trials as well, so they might fly along here. Mm. Well, we'll start with one of the speed horses here, Paul, in the shape of uh, Happy Tango. Uh, Baltic Whisper was uh, too good in the end, but he's uh, run second, beaten one and a quarter. Yeah, it was just a well-rated horse that had beat him in, uh, in this race. The horse, uh, this was his first run up for the season, and I thought he ran really well over 1,200 metres. Uh, back to 1,000 now, um, I think should be ideal for him. Got him in also. Wider draw and everybody seemed to know about Baltic Whisper this night. He was backed off the map. That's Nunchucks getting home well for third there, but definitely competitive here. We were probably the only three people that didn't know about it, I think. <laughs> but uh, we'll move on to uh, Noir Rider and Euro Missile, Mark. Noir Rider, 1,000 metres, barrier four. Yeah, prepared to watch Euro Missile, but Noir Rider as in. Zach takes the ride. Probably going to go forward here. He's got form behind Momentum, Galaxy and Jazz Steve. 1,000 metres. Seems to be his best trip, Paul. And look, he just was OK in the run home here, but this field this week doesn't look a lot stronger. Yeah, it was third up, isn't he? Now, that first up run was pretty tough on him because he was wide the whole way and he hung in there for just behind the place getters. So I think maybe that run there, he might have bounced a little bit. So look, on with you, I'll put him in. OK. All right, what about Fairbo? He returns on Wednesday night. He's trained by Paul O'Sullivan. Third race, Paul Fairbo, he seemed to come of age as a racehorse late last time in. Yeah, he took three or four runs, you know, to get his bearings around Hong Kong here. And um, he's pretty consistent towards the back end of last season. He's had a couple of trials. I think he's fought enough. Um, he'll just need good speed in the race from that gate. Has he further strengthened since that last run? I think he's done very well in the off-season. And, um, you know, I, sort of, I could see him progressing through the grades a little bit. You've given him two trials prior to resuming as well. You were happy with what he did in them? First trial was pretty ordinary. Our second trial was a big improvement. So um, he's quite a gross horse and takes a bit of work. And that was that second trial we're looking at uh, there. Paul, he's favourite as well. Do you think he can make a winning return? No, I didn't put him in actually, uh, Fair, but I just wonder if he does need it, just uh, one more uh, to get him up and running. It'll be interesting in Jenny's take on him uh, in the paddock there. I've gone with the 10 though, packing champion. He should get a nice run. I think there's going to be a lot of pace in this race. And he's going to get a nice run just in behind. Uh, he should be a double figure price, so, and he is at the moment at 12. So he's on top. Noir Ryder, uh, he's third up now, so he'll be a lot fitter from his last start. Happy good guys in there for 30. He's one off a rate, this rating before of 60, and Jerry Chow will take that uh, claim off his back. And Happy Tango was good, fresh up over 1,200. 10, 8, 1, and 3. With the favourite, Fair Bow. Love the second trial behind you. Legend, the first was behind CP Brave, and uh, he showed really good improvement, as we heard from Paul, between the two. So seven, Fair Bow. He'll need some luck from barrier number 10, but just got better and better with more racing in Hong Kong. Happy Tango, no reason why he can't uh, do what he did last time. Noir Ryder and uh, Paul's tip, packing champion. If he jumps, the starts have been an issue with him, but if he can use barrier one to his advantage, he could be the knockout horse here. Seven, three, eight and ten. I've included Fairbo as well, but a very, very even contest. I thought Alley might run quite well. He showed speed in his Happy Valley trial. He's got barrier eight. He might need to use it. Luke Farris rides for Casper fans. Look out for him, the five. That's race number three, class four over the Flying Five.